Well, Dame Joan Sutherland, how does one sign off and encapsulate in just a few words one of the most extraordinary opera singers the world has ever known and the world has particularly loved as well? But I can ask you for the future, how you hope and see the future of opera going? Well, I hope that, that there will be a return to more of the lovely traditional productions and do, do away with some of these very gaunt and, and hideous uh, interpretations that somehow have to have some awful macabre or sex scene interpolated into them. And how about the singers? themselves. You, you take a, 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 you just alluded to this before, you take quite a strong interest really in what is going on with young singers. Oh I do and in, indeed the young singers are there and they do need help. I think in the direction that we had, in, in or my, my group that was at Covent Garden had those seven years of, of um, apprenticeship. Now they have sort of a certain couple of years for, for the young artists groups in the Met in San Francisco in Covent Garden now too and they're very very good and some of the young people coming out of them are well equipped to continue to, to bigger and better things and I'm very glad that, that the, the uh, opera houses themselves are taking hand in this maybe with big backing from wealthy people well good, good for them but I would like to think that the vocal art is not lost, which for a few years one has been desperate because it has not been good. Why has it not been good? Well, I think that some of the teaching has gone wrong. I don't think that the great teachers are there, or if they are, they're not being taken notice of. And so, so many, of course, have gone on. They've, they've died and they've left us. But it, it's a shame that the treatise that they've left behind don't seem to be read. And, and I find that a lot of the singers don't do scales and exercises, for instance. How then can they can they sing coloratura? How then can they can they feel the phrases? How then can they span from the bottom of the voice to the top without making horrible bumps and screeches? It is to me a, a great shame that the teaching seems to have gone all haywire. It seems to be loud, louder, and loudest instead of beautiful. Well, what better way for people to? know how the future perhaps could go for them than to be listening to Dame Joan, not only singing of course, but having this wonderful opportunity to hear from her so many pearls of wisdom, insights and lovely things, lovely sensitive things, always such a sensitive person. Dame Joan Sutherland, you are a legend in your own time, but you're always such a sensitive and human person. That was what made people particularly love all your performances. Thank you so much for giving us your time about your unique career. Thank you, John.